we're here today with Gretchen Alterowitz, Associate Professor of Dance, to talk about the Spring Dance Concert, which is March 22nd through 25th here in the Belk Theater in Robinson Hall. And it sounds like we have a really varied program of different kinds of repertoire. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, we do. Um, we have five dances on the program this semester and a range of techniques from um, West African dance to voguing to modern dance to contemporary ballet. Um, so audiences will just see a very wide variety of the kinds of dance that we offer here. And tell us a little bit about um, these different approaches to dance and why we teach so many different techniques and styles here. Okay. Yeah, I think that's one of the one of the sort of hallmarks of our department and something that we're very invested in is a diversity of dance genres and styles and approaches to uh, dance making and dance performing in our department. So um, partly that is to do uh, as good a job as we can of representing the wide variety of dance that there is. Um, dance isn't just one thing. Uh, dance isn't only performed, but dance is written about and thought about and observed. And so how can we offer a, a wide range of experiences to our students, both acknowledging perhaps places that they have come from in their pasts and also giving them opportunities to explore new areas that maybe they haven't been exposed to uh, previously. And so um, one type that, that's on this program that maybe is, is unknown to uh, certainly audiences who see concert dance would be voguing. Mm -hmm. um, and that's I, a, a guest choreographer who yeah. has been working with our students. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so um, Marcus White is the guest choreographer and um, he has a company called White Works. And he, he choreographs sort of a, um, a fusion of voguing and house dance and other social dance forms um, mixed with contemporary dance forms as well. So um, voguing arose more from a, a social movement in um, burlesque and kind of uh, uh, dance parties and often has sort of a, a catwalk kind of um, movement to it, uh, a demonstration of uh, fashion and body kind of um, gesture and I guess kind of uh, attitude in a way. A demonstration of individuality is really apparent in voguing. Uh, and so um, Marcus combined some of those movements from, from that genre, from house dance into this piece, which also incorporates uh, spoken word as well as, as um, dancing. And so he was in residency here for about a week last semester, and then this semester we've had another guest choreography in residency working with students. Tell us about her. Yeah, so uh, Netta Yerushalmi was our guest artist this semester. She was here, as you say, for about a week. Netta is a, an award-winning choreographer. She's based in New York. She's currently working on a wide range of projects of uh, projects, but she's visiting colleges and universities regularly to do residencies as well. So she created a new work for our students. It's very um, different in terms of style and tone from the other work that we've had uh, on our concerts. She's interested in, I think, exploring what beauty is or is not. In a way, she's not interested in beauty, but for me, by by not, not uh, fully going into what beauty might be, then that asks us to kind of think about our own definitions of beauty. And, and also I think with her, with her work, we see a um, kind of a discussion of what virtuosity is as well. The dancers contributed a lot of the movement vocabulary to the work. So you see their individual movement styles coming through. And the, the piece is very complicated. There are all sorts of layers a lot of different groupings of dancers on stage. It ranges from very fast paced and um, complicated weavings of dancers to more uh, deliberate pacing. Um, it's, it's a really exciting work that just has so many layers that there's always something new to be tracking as an audience member. And uh, I understand that our students will not only perform that work 
here on this stage at UNC Charlotte, but they get to go to New York City and perform. Yeah, exactly. We have a partnership with the 92nd Street Y, and we're taking part in a program they call Dig Dance, where they present uh, colleges and universities in their venue there. So that's that is how Netta ended up working with our students is through their residency program. And so we'll perform her piece here, then we'll take it to New York in April, along with a piece that I choreographed and a piece that one of our students, Anna Edwards, made uh, this semester. And so the piece that will go to New York that you choreographed, is that also on this program? Yes. Tell so us just a little about that. Yeah, it's a contemporary ballet quartet. Um, it's thinking about, uh, sort of uh, thinking about ballet and uh, what, what these students' relationships to ballet is. Uh, in a way, I, I, I see it also having a conversation about what beauty is. So there's a, although this piece is completely different from Netta's piece, I think they, they both might uh, ask audiences to think about beauty and ballet has a lot of, I would say, connections to beauty, really. Um, ballet's aesthetic is tends to be classical and proportional and um, sort of noble in a way, graceful in a way. And in contemporary ballet, there's some interest in kind of uh, breaking apart those different areas of, of ballet performance and kind of asking whether they really speak to today's world. So uh, I would say in my choreography, I'm interested in exploring that. And then sort of radically different from that style of movement is the West African, mm -hmm. um, the West African technique and the West African dance that we have on the program. Uh, it's something that we tend to feature every year mm -hmm. in our concerts. And how is that different from, from the ballet or even yeah. the modern Yeah, technique? so this is a piece by Niche Faulkner and it's a large group work with uh, live drummers. Um, the dancers drum in the piece, and then there are additional drummers on stage as well. It's a very, um, both an exuberant and grounded dance form. Um, the, the body is um, fully articulated with polyrhythms and uh, a variety of impulses coming from different areas of the body. Um, the dancers are wearing these beautiful, brightly colored costumes. It's an exciting dance. I mean, it's a really great, it's the last piece on the program. The audience leaves the space, you know, very excited and wanting to move themselves. Yeah. And so for people maybe who've never been to a dance concert at all, uh, why should they come and check us out? What's, what is it about dance that maybe can speak to anybody? Mm -hmm. Well, um, you know, dance, because, because dance lives at the site of the body, I mean, we, we all have bodies, we're all communicating all the time with our bodies, whether we think about how we're doing that or not. And dance can both amplify that, that uh, process of thinking about how we use our bodies to communicate. It can allow us to see uh, narratives and connections between and among people. Um, it can ask us to think about other other things in maybe a more abstract way. So, um, you know, for me, I mean, I'm a dancer and I'm a choreographer, but for me, the fact that we, we uh, are communicating with our bodies and we're grounding or sort of rooting our ideas in humanness, really, that I think dance has a wonderful ability to speak to just a broad variety of issues. Although some of the pieces use text in this, in this program, um, text is not the main driver of, of the work. The bodies moving and relating to each other are, are really what, you know, drive the meaning. Yeah. Well, we hope people will come March 22nd through the 25th at the Belk Theater, and tickets are available in the Robinson Hall box office. Great. So thanks so much for telling us a little bit about it. Thank you. Thank you.